Here with Concordia head volleyball coach Scott Matera at the conclusion of the 2016 season ends with a, a loss in the quarterfinals. Obviously a, a tough draw when you're going up against a top five team on the road, uh, but uh, you gave them a battle, took the, the second set from them. You uh, have to at least be proud with the way your team went down fighting. Yeah, we uh, we played really well defensively tonight, which is which has been up and down this season. You know, we've given up some pretty large uh, hitting percentages to some really good teams, and we really played a lot more disciplined and together, especially in the back row tonight. So I was really proud of that. I mean, we the game we won, we only hit about 070 in it, but because we defended and fought so hard, we were able to take that game. Uh, three and four, we we played okay, but uh, but Midland stepped up. Midland stepped up under under pressure. You know, that's why they won the tournament last year and made the Elite Eight last year because they've got a lot of big match experience like that. And when they needed a play, they got it. Um, I just remember, you know, that Eller going up and just ripping a jump serve. And they reached out past a dime and ran a brilliant quick off it. And you just go, hey, man, nice job, guys. You know, and uh, we, we brought it uh, most of the night after them. And, uh, yeah, I'm proud of the effort. Next year's going to look a, a lot different uh, when you look at the, the seniors that have uh, played so much uh, over their four years here. Uh, I know we celebrated them a, a little while back with Senior Day, but what can you say about what they contributed to the, to the program? Yeah, well, I mean, when they came in, we were 10 and 21. You know, and, and you look at the, the last four years and just the, the national respect that they've earned um, in terms of, you know, people know what Concordia Volleyball is all about and they know they're in for a battle, even though the, uh, even though the record wasn't where we, we planned on it this year. Um, nobody ever took us lightly because we still had a target on our backs, and that's because of the, the respect that they've earned and the standards that they've set here. And uh, we're going to be forever grateful for that. I mean, there's going to be six. There's going to be six of them that played tonight, and then another seven or eight that, that contributed so heavily to the program that uh, it's, it's going to be tough to replace. But uh, we, we've got some kids that, that have learned under them and uh, and, and are going to take that forward and, uh, and work to make them proud. Yeah, there's going to be uh, a lot of opportunity now for going forward for for players next year. Uh, what do you tell them about? What they need to do to, to get ready and, and try to turn this around next well, year. Well, you know, one of the one of the things with all the uh, with all the movement and the the injuries this year gave a lot of those kids some a chance to play. So, you know, you saw Emma set us uh, set for us a few times. You saw Habegger jump in and, and play well on the right side. You've seen the development of Noid in the middle and Eller in the back row. And you know, Courtney really came on this year. Madison did a nice job filling in at the end there. And you know, I can just go down the list of, of a bunch of kids that even though. We're we're losing so much we've still got a lot coming back too so you know you can talk rebuild you can talk reload all that kind of stuff but the, but the bottom line is just coming together and, and reaffirming who we are uh, on and off the court and take that into the spring and just fired up to to really get after it and then build on the legacy that, that the previous class built